In this video, I take a look at how STEM or STEAM toys like the Sphero Mini Robot Ball actually contribute to a child's education and how it can help them later in life. There have been a growing number of ever more sophisticated electronic toys on the market that publicise having educational benefits to children. Toys such as the MakeBlock M-Tiny Coding Robot Kit, ClickBot Coding Robot and Sphero Series of Robots are all categorised as learning toys. The basic premise is that learning by doing is a major part of creating a solid foundation for key skills in science and mathematics. The end result would be giving children a basis of important science-based disciplines. However, I found that a lot of the reviews of gadgets and devices don't really cover how they deliver against their promises. As the father of two young children myself, I was keen to discover how playing with a cool, oftentimes expensive toy would set them up for further education to pursue a potential career in STEM fields. Does playing with one of these robots really help with learning any of the target disciplines? And how does playing with the toy translate into learning key skills? So as a starting point, I decided to take a look at the Sphero Mini Robot Ball. First of all, it's worth covering off exactly what STEM or STEAM stands for. The acronym stands for Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics, with arts more recently added to address how innovation often comes from creative input. STEAM is a curriculum based on the idea that educating students in the five subjects is better as an interdisciplinary approach. Rather than teach them as separate and discrete subjects, STEAM integrates them into a cohesive learning program. This is especially important for the future of many of the world's leading economies. Back in 2014, statistics from the US Department of Education estimated that there was a significant shortfall of eligible workers in key scientific areas of employment. Establishing a better curriculum for students to first find an interest in STEAM subjects and then accelerate their knowledge and participation was, and is, a key area for improvement. In principle, robot toys should be the perfect way to apply STEAM. If designed correctly, the idea is that children and students will be challenged to develop problem-solving skills through the application of logical thinking in a way that less sophisticated toys would not be able to achieve the same goals. Specifically, playing with toys like the Sphero Ranger robots provides an entry-level way for children to get their first introduction to programming languages, giving them a foundation for finding careers in the field of technology later in life. The opportunity for learning to code early on is seen as a critical area for education. Programming languages are used throughout the real world, from creation of services like YouTube, to networking technology controlling your internet access to watch this video, to less abstract, practical applications like manufacturing automation. The Sphero Mini Robot Ball is one of a series of products produced by Sphero. Since the founding in 2010, they have specialized in STEAM robots and STEAM-based educational tools with a mission to transform the way that kids learn and create through coding, science, music, and the arts. The Mini Robot Ball is an entry-level offering from their range. Their larger robots, such as the Sphero Spark and Sphero RVR, programmable robot, are more expensive to reflect their more sophisticated technology. But all their range utilizes the same web and app-based tools to interact and control the robots. The Sphero Mini's technical specifications match the entry-level price, but it still delivers enough functionality and depth of control to be compelling. The main functions you're able to interact with are its movement, the LED lights, the accelerometer, and the gyroscope. But more on that later in this video. The Sphero Mini retails for $50 US. It comes with a charging cable for connecting to a USB port on your computer. Plus, the robot comes with some tiny pins and traffic cones for creating your own obstacle courses right out of the box, without the need for additional accessories. The device is charged by gently prising open the ball case to reveal the robot inside and get to the micro USB port. There are two apps for the Sphero Mini Robot Ball. The first is Sphero Play, which includes different interfaces to control the Sphero Mini. Plus, there are some games that use the Sphero Mini as a controller. Sphero EDU gives you access to the programming interfaces, plus access to the Sphero Educator community, where you can review other children's projects from home and school use and also upload and share your own programming creations. More helpfully, Spiro EDU is available as a web app that enables much better usability for longer programming sessions, especially for JavaScripting, which I'll explain more on later. Spiro EDU is split into different areas of the key user interactions, all helpfully explained as you work your way through the content in order of layout on the screen. This includes a complete library of different courses and projects that will guide teachers, parents, and children to get accustomed to the concepts of robotics. Then, the content offers gradually more advanced projects to master programming the robot. As a first step, the parent or teacher should create a profile for themselves and then create a profile for their child. From the perspective of 
a parent, the process is a little odd as you have to create a class to which you can add your child, but for educators, the user flow will be more intuitive. The initial way that you start to learn to program your Sphero Mini begins with the program called Draw. Using Draw, children can trace paths on the screen for the robot to follow. This first step introduces children to the concept of the relationship between the robot and the app or computer interface for controlling your robot through instructions. The instructions you draw are then stored in Sphero EDU program's interface until you execute the program by pressing start. The drawing is then converted into JavaScript instructions in the background and transmitted to the robot. After some simple challenges, children graduate to Blockly visual programming language. Blockly is a free and open source software created by Google in 2012 and adopted by many Steam-based products and technologies. Blockly was created to be the simplest way to introduce newcomers to coding concepts. It uses a visual interface with interlocking colorful blocks that can be dragged and dropped to create programs. In Sphero EDU, the Blockly interface is used to control the movements, lights, and sounds of the Sphero mini robot. The blocks are color coded for ease of reference and represent the foundational programming concepts such as operators, comparators, variables, and functions. As the child completes more of the projects and becomes more adept at using Blockly, Children can also review, edit, and even start to take their first steps in writing the underlying JavaScript language that Blockly is built upon. JavaScript is one of the core technologies used in creating the World Wide Web. Mastering the language is key to any vocation for creating websites or applications that interface over the internet, as over 97% of websites use JavaScript. However, the language is now even more versatile and used for creating mobile apps, games, networking applications for chat and streaming, and more. While Blockly is based on JavaScript, it's only one of the many programming languages used today. One of the major benefits of playing with Sphero Mini is that it will provide valuable lessons on the use of programming syntax. The more familiar children become with JavaScript, the more it will provide a solid basis for children to explore other languages like Ruby, C, Python, Swift, and more, should they branch out into different applications. The Sphero Mini is an excellent introduction to the world of robotics and programming. The limited device functionality compared to some of the more sophisticated offerings actually helps to hone in on key concepts first without being overwhelmed. Sphero EDU is an excellent resource that's well curated. The catalog of projects gradually increases your child's ability to operate the robot and makes progress to more complex concepts manageable. What's more, the library of community projects with their own creations is inspiring to other children. Children are motivated seeing the peers of their own age mastering the robot with creative and interesting ideas. Parents, guardians and teachers will still need to invest a significant amount of time to engage children and digest the information in a way that's fun and actionable. You won't really be able to leave younger children to manage their own progress. The desktop app and web-based apps can't be used to control the Sphero Mini directly as the Mini doesn't have a Wi-Fi radio and just uses Bluetooth. The one exception is Chromebooks or Pixelbooks that have Bluetooth function. However, all is not lost if you're using a desktop or laptop PC. After logging in, your programs are saved in the cloud and you can use your mobile app to execute the actual programs themselves. While not ideal, it's a workaround that makes it easier to program on a bigger screen with a mouse and keyboard. The only other issue is that Sphero Mini struggles with traction when it's on particularly slippery surfaces, such as hardwood floors. Also, it's worth noting that you have to gently clean the robot itself inside the shell after multiple recharges to ensure the wheels of the robot make good contact with the shell itself. Body oils from skin contact can reduce the traction and leave it to spin on the spot inside its shell at times. Overall, the Sphero Robot Mini Ball is a great introduction to the world of steam toys with a material benefit to your child's education. The graduated learning approach provides a great foundation for interested children to go on and apply the knowledge learned in a practical way in the real world environment. Furthermore, the general process of using the robot inspires a logical approach to problem solving that stimulates the use and development of other skills which can be beneficial in other aspects of schooling. For around $50 US, the Sphero Mini represents a cost-effective, fun way to experiment with coding from an early age. Thank you for watching, and as always, it would be great if you were to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more content on technology and the connected home.